to my channel. My name's Marie. If you don't know me, I upload videos every Sunday, DIYs or makeovers. And during the week, time permitting, I will do a haul or I will do a vlog. And today, it's a haul. I've got some good stuff today and it's pretty random. I've got, yeah, I've got some pots. I've got some little piece of furniture, a couple of frame graphics. I've got some wood items, material, got some Easter stuff, got some glasses. Oh my gosh, what? some books. Um, so let's jump right in. Let me just apologize for the mess behind me. We are doing a bedroom makeover at the moment and that's all the furniture piled in the dining room because we had the floor laid and tonight we have to then replace all of our baseboards. So hopefully in a couple of days, the house will be back to normal. But for now, let's jump right in with my first item. And I love these oh, champagne coupes. These are so, so adorable. Um, they were 75 cents each. There was a set of four, so I bought all four. And um, they're very, very delicate. I don't know if you can see that. They're really lovely. Um, filthy dirty, so they do need to go through the dishwasher a couple of times. But yeah, 75 cents, could not resist. I do have champagne coupes already, but they're very plain. So when I saw these, I wish the stem had been just a little bit more delicate. They're a bit chunky, a bit like me really. So anyway, I bought four of these. <coughs> Next item is some material. So the color of this material is literally perfect for our bedroom. All four colors are in our bedroom makeover, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this material. So it was two pieces, $4 each. And I think they were someone's curtains once. So pretty decent size. I could definitely get a cushion out of this. Let me show you this next item, which I might use this for. I'm not 100% sure yet. Let me get it. This bad boy was $12. Um, it's got some really awesome padding. Don't like the material. It does not go with my decor. I like the little feet, I thought they were super cute. But really and honestly, I bought this for the living room. So this kind of is gonna be for the bedroom. I may or may not use this material for this. I'm not sure whether this material would go in this room. I don't know. What do you think? Next item, $3. And I thought this would be a cute little makeover. Now, what I'm gonna do is I don't like these little arches here. So I was gonna cut these straight and I'm gonna paint it black. I'm gonna sand it down, paint it black. And then I thought it would look really nice with a big old vase on it. So it's a little riser. What do you think? I'm gonna keep this and maybe put it in one of these cutouts here. But if I do, I will definitely make a video of it and show you guys what I do. Okay, let's show you a couple of books that I bought. This one is A Living Green, A Practical Guide to Simple Sustainability. It was $1 and probably everyone in the world could do with reading this. Um, I know I could do better. So hopefully I will get some tips and tricks. And once I've read it, I'm gonna pass it on and hopefully, oh actually, it would be a good idea to keep a little log. Like, I read this on blah, 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 gifted to, and then the next person could read it and gift it on. I already know who I'm giving this to anyway. So, that was a good bargain. This one is a complete home decorator. More than 200 practical projects to transform your home with over a thousand colourful photographs. And that's what I like pictures. <laughs> I'm a lazy reader and this is a good, this is a really good read. Like a, um, I used to read, what was her name? Gosh, she's written like a thousand books. A female American writer, like love stories. I used to read her books all the time back in England. I can't remember her name now. Daniel Still. I used to read her books all the time. But um, yeah, when it comes to books like this, I'm, I'm more of a lazy reader and I like looking at all the pictures, but this was $4. So 
another coffee table book. This one was $2. Now this book seems a little older. I can see that the print and the pages are a little older. So I don't know how relevant this is gonna be, but I'm pretty sure there are some good little tips. Some of the older tips, like the old wives tales, kind of like a coming around full circle and we're going back to using them. Like the my mum used to clean her house with vinegar, her glass, her windows. And um, I see that's like a big thing now, using white vinegar. But anywho, this one is a six day body makeover. Now, I don't think I could make over my body in six days, more like 600, but I'm gonna read it. Next book is The Complete Book of Home Stenciling. It was $2. Now, my in my bedroom makeover, I've actually done some stenciling on my Hemnes Ikea dresser. So I thought I'd buy this. Now, when I got this home and looked through it, I didn't realise that half of the book is, oh, where were we? Now, half the book is actually stencils. So I looked up, $2, yay! Next book is Joanne's. It's your guide to creativity, $3. Do you guys in England have Joanne's yet? Because it's a really good store. It's like um, it's like a Michael's and I don't know. I think you guys have something, what is it called? Hobby, we have Hobby Lobby and in England it's Hobby something else, Hobby Crafts, is it? But Joanne's is a store that's like that. So I'll be glad to flick through that one. And lastly, what's this one? This one was $3. Oh, the wreath book. So I did make a wreath in one of my videos and I was looking through this and, oh my gosh, talk about getting some ideas. They had a popcorn wreath in here, Christmas wreath, a heart-shaped wreath. Um, where is that one? They had a cactus wreath. So I'm excited to flick through this and get some ideas for maybe next Christmas. All right, what's next? Let's do um, a couple of ceramic items. What do you think about this, guys? Um, it's in perfect condition. It was $8. Doesn't say where it was originally from, but... Gosh, I've got a couple of ceramics that I've bought from this haul and I want to keep one of them for our bathroom and I can't decide which one, but this color I have in my towels on my floor in my bathroom. So quite possibly I might be keeping this one because I have double sinks and then I have a space in between. So I want something to go in there. Um, so I might possibly be keeping this one. Haven't decided yet, but yeah. Eight dollars. Do you like it? So this is another ceramic piece that I actually love the shape of it. I don't like the colour that it is at the moment. It is slightly damaged. There is a crack, but that's fixable. And also, if you have some like leaves spilling over, you would never know. But this was how much was this? This was $5, but I was thinking maybe black, black, black or cream, I don't know, or black with maybe like, pick up these pieces with some cream, I don't know, um, it's a toss up between the blue one or this one, and there's one more, but the other one's quite big, so I haven't decided yet, but yeah, this was $5. So this was the other ceramic piece, again, um, in between the two sinks in our master bathroom. Now this one is damaged and you can see, can you see this little chip here? So I'm going to have to like search YouTube and see how to fix ceramic because I've never done that before. I'm sure it is fixable. I'm sure maybe some polyfiller and then kind of like do a colour match with some paints. But I like this piece, but yeah, this one is quite a bit bigger. The colors do match for our bathroom and bedroom. And I love the little flower detail. 
I'm not sure if this was like one of those chamber pots. I'm not sure because you know you have like the jug. Not a chamber pot. A chamber pot was the toilet, wasn't it, in olden days? No, it was the wash basin. So you would have a jug and you'd fill it up and then you'd wash your face in the bedroom. That's right. Chamber pot. <laughs> but this, um, this piece matched with another item. So let me go get that. So this photo frame I thought was very similar. Um, I wouldn't sit them next to each other because the colours aren't quite the same, but I would have this in the bedroom and have this in the bathroom maybe. And these flowers were also similar. So I'm thinking about putting um, a wedding photo in here because my uh, wedding dress was like an ivory colour and then my bridesmaids wore peach. Yeah, I really like this. And this was $1.50. So, and I also picked up another frame. So let me show you that. So this little frame here, um, perfect colours for the bedroom again. Um, I have some curtains in there that are this colour. And this was $1.50. Now, even though the colours in the picture would work with my bedroom, I think I'm going to take that out and do maybe a watercolour painting myself just to pop in there. But yeah, for $1.50, sweet. So we're talking about pictures. I videoed these pictures in the thrift store and look at the price, $100. Now we had just been talking about prices going up in thrift stores, but I literally couldn't believe that these were priced at $100 each. Okay, just to change things up, <laughs> I bought these. Um, I just saw the label, it says originally $20 and it was a Liz Claiborne home item. Um, they're actually salt and pepper pots, which I wouldn't use them for that. I would just put them on the table for table decor for Easter Sunday. But I paid $1.50 for these. But I thought the grandchildren might get a kick out of seeing these on the, on the table. And then I saw this, um, a little wooden deco piece. Um, I just bought it basically for the shape of the wood. I'm going to sand it down, remove all these pieces because I don't, don't like these colours. And probably paint it pastel colours. But for $2, I thought that was rather sweet. Okay, so I picked up a couple of wooden items. This was a bit random, I know. But I bought a wooden pig <laughs> I mean why wouldn't you so uh, this is three dollars I'm gonna take this off sand it down and I thought this would actually look just cute lent up against the other chopping boards uh, I may keep this I may sell this um, I think there is our community is doing a garage sale soon I think it's in April I'm not sure but I'm just gathering little items that I can sell in the garage sale too. So this may be a keeper, this may be a seller. So $3 for this little piggy. Alrighty, I saw this cowboy boot. I actually really like this. Not for myself, but I do like this. I would take this ribbon off. Um, it needs to be sanded down, I think. And um, I have the linseed oil I bought for my chopping boards when I went to Ikea and bought some chopping boards so I'm going to sand this down and just re-linseed oil and this was four dollars I don't think much needs to be done to this to be honest I'm pretty sure this can be used for food no make yeah so do not microwave food safe so yeah I think I'm just going to sand this down and put linseed oil and probably sell this item Okay, so the next item is definitely for myself. I don't know if you saw the video where I took a, um, I think they're called table risers, and it had tiles on, and I uh, repainted it black, and then I painted the tiles cream, and then I did a stencil pattern, and then I also did a tray that was black and like a cream color. Well, I saw this. So I thought this would look really cute together when finally we have some get togethers at our house, which 
I think possibly will be this summer because yesterday governor in Nevada has done away with the masks so yeah I'm actually going out to dinner tonight with some friends for the first time in a long time so hopefully fingers crossed things are looking up but yeah this was three dollars it's a little bit dirty so I'm gonna get some bleach to this and run it through the dishwasher a couple of times yeah three dollars thought this was lovely and it's in perfect condition no no chips no cracks so that's a keeper for me okay the next item I think I'm going to use for myself for a project that isn't gonna happen for quite some time <laughs> Let me go get them. There was four of these in the thrift store and I only purchased two. I have an idea for my dining room wall. I don't know if you can see at the moment, I did some line paintings um, over them. I have a different idea for that wall now and it could possibly involve these two items. Now I would paint them probably black and do some silver embellishments. I like the fact that they're easy to install because it's literally just put in a screw and hang them. So these may or may not be used by me. They were $4 each. And if not, I'll just sell them. But yeah, I saw them, I thought of them, I bought them. She came, she saw, she conquered. Next, I bought a couple of little vases, which Pretty sure I'm just going to keep them for myself. The first, the first was actually in with the glasses. And if this is a glass, then it's for a giant. I can barely get my hand around this. So yeah, let me know if you know that this is a drinking glass. It also has quite an odd lip to it. I, I really don't think this is a drinking glass, but anywho, I'm not going to use it for a drinking glass. Um, it says authentic on it and I can't make out what else it says. It's 75 cents and I'm going to use it on my windowsill. I made myself a little windowsill and I have some cactus plants on there at the moment. But sometimes, you know when you buy a big bouquet of flowers and some of them die but the others don't, I chop them down and I put them into a smaller vase and then a smaller vase and then a smaller vase. So I'm going to use this for a vase on my windowsill when my bouquets start to die off. Next. This one, I fell in love with the shape. I absolutely love this shape. And I wish, I wish, I wish there had been a bigger one this size, because I think this on top of here, if this had been bigger, would have looked perfect. But I'm gonna paint this black. It was $3. Um, I, I, I wanna kind of get rid of, it has like a texture to it. I'm gonna see if I can sand it down slightly and, um, yeah, you can tell that this was a makeover. But yeah, I'm gonna paint this black. Okay, let's quickly do a couple more books. This first book, I'm not sure if I already bought this and I've done that before too. So I've gifted the second book away. So this one, I'm not sure whether I bought this last time, but it's $2, it's cottage, cottage style. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna look through this one. Now this one is probably my favorite book that I've bought so far. Um, it's $4 and this is Aged to Perfection, adding rustic charm to your modern home. And again, create a new old house. Now I live in a new house in Las Vegas and I do miss some of the old architectural elements from the home that we used to live in in England. And one of, the, one of the things that I really miss was the house that I grew up in as a child. We had really old, creaky wooden floorboards. And I miss that. I wish I had old, I really wish I had old, you know, the thick barn type floorboards. And I also miss the cornice pieces going through the doorways. I think they're called cornice piece. Cornice, C-O-R-N-I-C-E, cornices, cornice. Um, pieces that go through like the doorways. I miss those little elements, those little touches. And I miss, what I really miss 
is opening up a window. Like literally, you would go like this, push out, put on the latch, and feel the breeze come in, which you can't do in Vegas. Everything slides, and then even when you open it, there is a mesh that covers the opening to stop the bugs coming in, and it's just not the same. But anywho, I'm gonna flick through this book and see how I can age this house. The next book is fun to make and do the complete children's craft book. I thought this would be fun for when the grandchildren come over, get them into crafting and see. My grandson, he's only four and boy, can he draw. He, like, I can give him a piece of paper and a pen and he will sit there for over an hour and he really concentrates when he colors. Like he does not go over the lines. I, that's, I think he's got an artistic side to him. So um, yeah, do some projects with them and see if they enjoy doing them. The next one is Around the World Craft and Design Book. As a child, I had a complete set of one of these Russian dolls and I really wish, one, I had taken care of them and two, I had kept them. But you live and learn. Two dollars. Now this book is Trading Spaces, Make It Yours. I used to love watching this program. This was two dollars, so I'm excited to look through this one. And then this one, the Weight Watchers. I actually didn't realize it was Weight Watchers when I bought it. I was more interested, I focused in on this line, 150 dishes in 30 minutes or less. I like quick cooking. I don't like to stand over an oven. Um, so yeah, I hope there's some good little items in here that I can make. Okay, we've got about another two, four, got another six items here. This item was $4, it's tin, it's cream, and it has gold embellishments. But I thought this would be a nice little fruit bowl. Um, quite a big one, actually. <laughs> My husband likes to buy pineapples and the fruit bowl that I have, when he buys a pineapple, the pineapple literally takes up the whole fruit bowl. So this would be a nice size, or it could even be a planter, but yeah, $4, the colors were, were perfect. So yeah, nice little find. So when you see this item, does this remind you of a peanut? Because that's what it did for me, a little peanut. But I thought this would be nice for the coffee table. This didn't have a price on it and she, she never told me how much she charged for it. And I haven't looked at my receipt yet. It is missing one of these. However, um, I went to Dollar Tree yesterday and they have a pack of these felt pieces and they're different sizes. They've got some small ones, some larger round ones, some square ones, some long ones. So that's for a dollar, a whole pack of those. So I bought one of those. So I'm probably gonna take these three off and put on four new ones. But yeah, cute for a coffee table. This next item, I wish there had been two. There wasn't. Um, this was a dollar. This part's metal, this part's wood. And when I turned it over, I realized it was a target item. But yes, I think this would have looked really nice with maybe two. But that's okay, I can sit this on a book and put like a vase next to it. Um, but yeah, for a dollar, I, I'm only gonna clean this. I'm not gonna paint this. I want to keep this black. So yeah, happy with that. Okay, I think it's kind of ugly at the moment. I would definitely get rid of the lid, but I think this will make a really nice makeover. It was $6. But if you can imagine this, maybe, textured, black, um, maybe some cream elements mixed in, maybe with some like miniature pampas grass. I think this would be really nice. So that's a future makeover. Now, this next item, if you watched my last haul, I bought an item that I really wasn't sure. In fact, I'm gonna go get it. Okay, so if you remember in my last haul, I purchased this item and I was saying to you guys, I don't know what this is. At first I thought it was a magazine rack, but I have a magazine here. I don't know, it seems too big. Or even if it was a stack this, I hope you guys can see. Um, I, I don't know, it just seems too big. 
for a magazine. So then I got an umbrella. I don't know. It, let's take the magazine out. If I put the umbrella in, it doesn't seem right. I don't know. I don't know. If you know what this is, please comment. Because I or if you have have any ideas. Um, but I bought this because I was going to turn it into a coffee table, um, a little side table next to my armchair in the bedroom. So I have my armchair. There's a little space, and then there's the fireplace. So I was going to do an oval top and have it as a little low side table until I saw this next item. I think this could be perfect for my side table. It has sweet little feet, it has a little base, and then it has just enough space to put a drink and a candle and a book. Now I thought for five dollars this was a steal. And look at the coming but five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, just in case. <laughs> Um, yeah, I thought this would be really nice if it was bleached. However, I literally cannot stand the smell of bleach. So, um, and it's quite a process. When I've watched some tutorials about bleaching, you have to bleach it once, let it sit in the sun, wash it down, bleach it a second time, sit it in the sun. I can't be bothered with all that. So I think what I'm going to do is sand this down and then do a very pale whitewash on it. Hopefully that's going to work. But I think I'm going to use this as my side table versus this. I'm going to rethink this. So, all right. Yay. So my last thrift purchase, we have to go into the garage because it's a slightly bigger item. Okay, guys, you saw me looking at this in the thrift store and I couldn't resist. It was $30. I think someone was using it as a craft table because there's lots of different blotches of paint on it. But sanded down and repainted. Look at these legs. This is a really nice piece, I think, for $30. And it's literally the perfect size for maybe a card table or an entryway table. And look, this table used to belong to the Bellagio Hotel. So I didn't want to end this video without saying goodbye and a massive thank you for watching my videos. And we're up to 61 or 62 subscribers. And we're not far away from that first goal, which is 100, when I can then open my community chat. So thank you so much. And thank you to my viewers from Russia and the Ukraine. Hi, guys. Well, I'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks for watching.